we need to talk about conveyors. Conveyors are the pipes and tubes that move resources around your ship from cargo to refineries and assemblers. I say they move stuff, but really it's more like your refinery is sucking on one end of a hose pipe. Conveyors are usually passive and will only attack if provoked, but that's a topic for another video. Because of their passivity, you can be forgiven for thinking that they don't need much special care in their engineering. And you'd be right, for the most part everything just needs to be plugged together in whatever way you want. Once you get to higher and larger levels of infrastructure, though, the laissez-faire approach starts to fall short. Ever taken your mining ship out only to realize it's still full of ore from the last trip? Or spent what seemed like hours shuffling ores around in your refinery to get the right materials smelted first? These problems are all resolved through the proper application of conveyor sorters, but they introduce some problems of their own. Firstly, sorters separate a conveyor network into two sides, input and output, denoted by the arrows on their model. Very importantly, absolutely nothing can be accessed on the output side from the input side across a sorter. Secondly, sorters have an internal allow-deny list to control what is allowed to cross from input to output. This list is upheld by everything that tries to grab things from the input side from the output side, and the input side trying to shove anything through. Thirdly, Sorters actually have a drain all option, which makes them pull everything on their list out of the input side and store it wherever it can on the output side. So, with all that established, here's some tips to improving your conveyor network. Assign a dedicated delivery connector on your base and place a sorter between it and the rest of the network. Setting the sorter to drain all will then cause all contents of a connected ship to be sucked out. For added precision, put ores on the allow list. Note, it is best to include a cargo container to avoid your assemblers and other inventories getting flooded by the sorter. Next, add another sorter facing the opposite way. Allow uranium ingots through this sorter and deny them on the other. This will let your attached ship resock its reactors and prevent them from being drained by the first sorter. Gases cannot actually be filtered by a sorter, so you can make dedicated refueling ports for oxygen and hydrogen by using a sorter connected to a conveyor with an empty allow list. Now, remember that everything obeys the list of the sorter? Using this principle, you can create a set of refineries assigned to smelting specific ores, since they can't suck anything else through the hosepipe. And let's not forget how important sorters are to a proper auto-crafting rig. Check the video in the title card for more on those.